The San Francisco Department of the Environment provides solutions that advance climate protection and enhance the quality of life for all San Franciscans. The school awards program honors the school communities that are taking direct action to move our city towards our climate protection goals. These young leaders and the adults that support them are ensuring that we achieve healthy and resilient communities and ecosystems throughout San Francisco and provide a better future for all to come. The start of the whole project was a few of us coming together last summer and writing a proposal to get a grant. We originally said, you know, we want to improve the climate curriculum at our school. And we applied for this grant. We got turned down. And then the district read our proposal and then realized that it should be turned into a bigger project. They had us assemble a team with district leadership, teachers, um, and students from around the district. And that's what we've been working on so far is finding a way, like, how can we incorporate uh, eco-literacy and climate justice into every aspect of our school district? We started gathering questions, went off and did our own discovery work around the SFUSD district, and then bringing it back, trying to find common themes. We were working on collecting data on whether people cared about climate change or if they knew about it at all. And what we found is that a lot of people didn't care unless it affected them personally. And then through a presentation, we gave on pitch night, see how we could incorporate uh, climate literacy into schools. It's been great to see how we can make like real and structural change in our district. I work with the Sunrise Movement, which is a national youth-based climate justice group. We don't have a lot of connections to SFU or school districts in general. We don't really have any leverage when it comes to talking to students and getting them to organize. So I did join this group as a way to get more connections with SFUSD, be able to mobilize more students and talk to staff and get them to understand why students are organizing. My main motivations for fighting climate change is to preserve our natural diversity, especially here in the United States. What fuels my passion is predominantly like making sure that my generation and those that come after us have a livable future. And I want to know that we have access to clean air and clean water and that the people who are already struggling to have access to those things, even in the Bay Area, you know, hoping that we can create a world where everyone does have access. I think the national field program right now to mobilize people to vote. And I'm only finding motivation because I know other people care about these things and we're all friends and that's kind of what keeps us all going because we all care about each other and we all care. My connection to nature, that what fueled my fire. For me it's been very empowering and I realized that what I have to say matters and can create a change. But also I think it's really interesting to meet a lot of students because that's also empowering in a way to realize that other people have the same feeling and the same like want to create change. We see a lot of things start and a lot of things happen from the people on top making these events and then wanting students to come, but it's really interesting to see how students started a project and then it just got bigger and bigger and it's turning into something so much more. It is a very big issue that's literally affecting every single person, especially frontline communities and like low income communities. So I feel like it's a big issue that everyone should be aware of and know like its risks. You can kind of learn anything you want about the environment on your own and a lot of the knowledge that the two of us have comes from ourselves and our own research over time and talk to other people, make friends that care about the same things that you do. We all started working together to, to solve this. We could do it because there's still time. There's seven billion of us here on earth. There's definitely something we could do. It shouldn't be a political issue. This should be an issue of the scientific community and there is like political aspects to it like climate injustices, but we really need to think about this as humanity. The effects are almost becoming irreversible. I feel like it is, it's very important for us, like as youth, to be involved with it uh, because we're like the next generation and we can actually change things once we're older. And I feel like with this program, we're also inspiring younger kids. Like climate change should be taken with the same seriousness as any other issue because it affects all of us and it's very, important and it's only going to get harder to help and fix in the upcoming years if we don't do anything about it.